also on day seven, on day seven, we also looked at angles that are outside the circle. So again, another little typo right there. These are angles outside the circle. We will have one question on the test with an angle outside the circle. For that formula, the angle will equal one half the difference of the two intercepted arcs. So when I look at my first example, I can see this angle that is outside the circle is 15 degrees. As I come out of that angle, the first arc I'm going to hit is right here, x degrees. And the next arc I'm going to hit is right here, 80 degrees. The angle equals one half the difference. My angle is 15 degrees equals one half the difference. We're always going to do the outside arc minus the inside arc. So 80 minus x. The first thing I always like to do is get rid of that fraction by multiplying by its reciprocal. So instead of 1 over 2, I'm going to multiply by 2 over 1 or just 2. That's going to give me 30 equals my 1 half and my 2 multiplied over just 1. And 1 times anything is itself 80 minus x. I need to get the minus x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 80 on both sides. 30 minus 80 is a negative 50. That equals negative x. Don't forget that negative is right there. I don't want negative x, I want positive x, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1, which is going to give me positive 50 equals x. Okay, let's look at the next one. The next one, very similar problem. My angle is outside the circle. It's 20 degrees. The first intercepted arc I come to is x. And the next intercepted arc I come to is this piece out here, 130 degrees. The angle, 20 degrees, equals one half the difference of the sums of the arcs. I'm going to start with the outside arc first because I know it will be bigger. Then the inside arc. And then I want to solve for x. I'm going to first get rid of the fraction 1 half by multiplying by the reciprocal 2. That's going to give me 40 equals my 1 half and my 2 will cancel. So 130 minus x. I'm going to subtract 130 on both sides. Forty minus one thirty is negative ninety. That equals negative x. Don't forget that negative sign right there. I don't want negative x, I want positive x, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative one. That's going to give me a positive 90 equals a positive x. And that's how we find a missing value when we have an angle formed outside the circle.